Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Own Life Portraits. I'm Daniel, and today we're going to paint Mark Fit. I am going to paint. Um, and Mark Fit is a great online YouTube personal trainer, and this painting is kind of a tribute to Mark because he helped me, without him even knowing it, to, you know, get fit. About two years ago, I decided to start working out seriously and grow some muscle, get ripped. And you know, there are those days when that inner voice tells you, you can skip working out today. You don't have to go to the gym today. It's fine if you skip a day. And whenever that happened, I just go online, uh, I watch a couple of his videos and I'd be pumped. Five minutes later, I'd be off to the gym working out as hard as I could. Um, so thanks Mark for being a source of inspiration and motivation for me. Now you can also uh, already see me drawing here with a black pencil. I'm putting in all the dark areas from my reference materials, those that we've seen at the beginning of the video. I'm putting them together on a canvas that I have painted in, well, ochre tone acrylics, and then I'm putting on the sketch of the drawing and blocking out the black and dark areas. In the next step, next stage right here, uh, I'm going in with black acrylics and a small brush, and I'm painting in all the very dark, actually the black areas. You know, whatever is black in my reference material, I'm painting in black with acrylics. Speed it up here. There you go, the black shirt. And, well, I feel like if I'm, if I would do that with the black pencil, I wouldn't be able to get it as dark. And I find it's much, there is much more depth in the painting if you actually paint it in black instead of scratching it with a pencil, especially on a canvas where it's tough to get the color into um, those little holes in the, in the canvas with a pencil, so I painted it. Next stage is already on here. It's um, acrylics, very, very watery acrylics. And what I'm aiming to, towards is keeping the pencil lines still visible and I'm going very fast and basically inaccurately with those uh, acrylics. The important thing about it is getting the basic colors in there and uh, the basic light and shades. But I'm in no way being exact here. I'm not focusing on getting everything right. I'm just blocking in colors, I'm blocking in lights and I'm blocking in shades with very watery acrylics, like I said before. Here we go, another painting of abs. <laughs> Reminds me of the Leonidas painting from a couple of weeks ago. And yeah, going in fast with a small brush, painting in all the lights and shades, and uh, focusing on keeping the tone right, you know, the same color scheme for every Part of the drawing of the, of the painting here. Um, is everything okay? So stage three is, is almost done okay? here. It was kind of hard uh, drawing and painting the muscles on the back because they are very uh, complicated basically. I've never really seen that muscles on the back are so complicated and, and <laughs> this was really a tough part on Mark's back here. Um, but there we go, stage done. Final stage, favorite stage is drawing in all the details with the colored pencils. And I'm usually starting out with the highlights with the bright whites. And uh, well then, um, put on layers of soft colors from bright to dark. I'm also adding in some colors that may not even be visible on the reference nice or 
not consciously be visible. So this is a bit of an artistic stage where you just have to go wild a little bit. And uh, well, in this painting in particular, I kept the pencil strokes relatively rough. Um, because I feel it adds to the ripped look of Mark. And um, I wouldn't recommend keeping the pencil strokes as rough on a female painting. Apparently, I guess you get the idea. Just. Also, I, I go over the dark areas once again with uh, dark pencils to add a little more depth to it emphasize the dark areas. Try to get as much contrast into your paintings as possible. You might even go overboard sometimes, but that's usually a good thing. Um, because oftentimes photo references are not as contrast rich, so you have freedom to be a little more contrasty in your painting. Don't be afraid of that. And yeah, same, the same order here again. I'm going in with the whites, I'm going in with the peach, I'm going in with uh, ochre and maybe a terracotta red, then adding the dark areas with brown and black going over it. Now the apps, the ripped apps of Mark Fit. I, I, <laughs> I wish I had that. I still don't have that. I guess I have to adjust my nutrition plan. Um, but you know it's difficult sometimes you just get a little sloppy on your food <laughs> all right there we go more highlights more details uh, and again here is the very complicated and contrast rich back, the back, don't know what to say, just, I guess you just keep watching, uh, I'm almost done here, putting in the highlights, putting in the dark areas, going in softer, and, you know, get the idea. There you have it, the finished product. I've sprayed this in with a layer of varnish, basically. It makes the colors pop a little more. And uh, finished painting here. You can find my paintings on my website at www.ownlifeworks.com. And, uh, well, you'll probably find me on all the social networks, too. Now, I recommend you go to uh, Mark Fit's website, www.markfit.com. Check out his YouTube channel. He's a great guy. And, you know, if you want to get motivated to work out, that's definitely the way to go. So, until next time, have fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.